How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this unboxing video and boots review of the Puma Future Match Editions. These are the laceless models. Um, so there's no strings or laces that are given with you. Um, it's completely laceless. Uh, of course, if you're first time buying a laceless boot or you wanna try the Puma without the laces, but you're not too certain how they will feel and you're going either true to size or half or one size up, or half size down, then the better option in our recommendation is to go and get the Puma Future Match but the laces edition and then to uh, undo the laces because you can do it that way and then you can see if the sizing is right for you and the fit and feel without the laces then you can have a better idea maybe to go half or half size up or down um, with the laceless editions which will give you a better lockdown comfort and feel and you have a better idea if it's for you or not. So that is our recommendation to first time buyers for the laceless boots. Now, when it comes down to these um, football boots, of course, they're going to be very tight in the midfoot and toe box area because there's no laces. So you need to get a boot. Uh, you need to have a stronger lockdown um, and much more tight tightness in terms of the in terms of getting the right size. So for narrow feet and normal feet types, we actually recommend going um, half size down from your normal Puma size, just to give you that kind of snug fit and tighter fit for those that want to have less space in the midfoot and toe box area and less movement inside the boots. Um, because if you go true to size from your normal Puma, Puma football boots, uh, you can have a bit of space on the toe box area and also midfoot due to not having the laces to tie up the boots itself. So that's why you can have a bit more space. For, for wide feet, it's actually good to go just true to size. Um, you, you might get a little bit of space on the toe box area, uh, toe box area at the front and the upper of the boots, um, but the midfoot is going to be nice and tight, wrapping around your feet, um, and it'll be very comfortable. And then for very wide feet, um, just try true to size first. If you order it online, see how they feel, um, and if there isn't much space, um, then it's better to go half size up, and it should fit you nicely. With the Puma Futures, as you know, it's one of the most um, accommodating for all feet types in the Puma football boots brand. So you're gonna be able to get them no matter what feet types you have. So that's a really nice touch from the futures. Also because the budget is um, around 70 to 80 pounds or euros. And then when the colorways um, is a newer one comes out, you'll be able to you know pay for them for much cheaper, maybe from anywhere 50 to 60, um, sometimes 40 pounds uh, or euros. So you're gonna save up a lot of money uh, for people that have a lower budget. Weight-wise is actually fairly, fairly lightweight, but of course from a Puma Future, it's not designed to be you know, a barefoot-like feel. It's much more for um, agile and playmaking. So it's maybe for players that want to cr be creative, um, but so it's not the lightest boot in the Puma boot line. Um, if you're looking for something that's more barefoot-like and um, lighter, then these aren't for you. The match editions have a much more soft upper and material um, all around so they will break in much faster than let's say the likes of the ultimates or pro maybe one week of use of practice shooting passing training with friends and teams and then you can take them into something competitive like a match um, or five aside seven aside midweek football you'll be able to wear them after one week of practice and use the materials soften up very quickly and that's something that we've noticed um, because of the softer material but it will give you lesser protection than let's say the likes of the Ultimates because the material is softer and when you're stepped on, you're definitely gonna feel it much more on your toes. Sole plate, you can wear them on firm ground, um, hard ground pitches and real grass pitches. And you can also wear them on artificial turf and grass pitches, artificial grass pitches like 3G, 4G, even 2G, we've tried it on the sand pitches, um, works fine. Maybe it's better to wear, wear the turf versions of these um, on 2G and sand. But if you don't really want to get two boots, then these will work as well. Now, if you have a pair of these yourself, um, the future match laceless editions, make sure to leave a comment down below in this video on what you think, as it helps out people when they're looking to buy a pair or upgrade, it really does help them out before they're making a decision. And make sure to leave this video a like and to subscribe to the channel um, as we continue to make many more unboxing videos and yeah, reviews. Thank you again for the continuous support in the comments and likes 
and we'll see you next time for another review and unboxing in the near future. All the very best and take care. Thank you.